Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Dutchman Plays Mahjong Soul. We're doing the Hand of Meow event. All we gotta do is our daily missions, which is basically just play a couple of games. That's easy enough to do. We're gonna do a gold room, four player south game. And there's no reason to deviate from what we always do. We're just gonna play a normal game. It's a new week, it's a new recording session. 133 three around the board. Roughly balanced. I forgot to change my tile fronts. Well, it is what it is. I meant to change these back. These are the unlocked tile faces from playing the event. They work fine. They're not that distracting. But I feel like the bamboo doesn't look right at least when i started i'm more used to it now when i started the nine somehow didn't look like a nine because of the fish and i can't really explain it well because that it, it makes no sense when you just look at it right now but it, it, i i got absolutely confused maybe the six was getting distracting as well i don't know i'm gonna play the two I should have kept the two, the two over the one, though. This is doing nothing for me. But anyways. We're just gonna relax, take it easy. We got Yakuhai on both sides of the board. That's the value pwn. Reds across the way. West wind to the left, which is their seat wind. So either of them can have anything else, and they're ready to go. Nine of characters is the Dora. And one of the things you got to be worried about is when they're opened with a value pwn, they can either have a pair weight of Dora or be waiting on the Dora. 7 8 is suddenly not breaking Tanya. All simples. Nine comes out from the left, which is great to see. I'm going to dish the four. There's a chance we can draw something on the three or the five. Even the eight would help out with this shape. Give us a three, five, five, or a three, three, five, five shape. Uh, we can't open, we don't want the eight. It's a little late to be discarding this close to Dora, but I think if anyone's gonna be using it, it's gonna be a pair. White dragon should be safe. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the uh, tile faces. If they're distracting, then we'll get rid of them. I think it just takes some getting used to. Hey, that's a great, great reveal. And nine came out across the way as well, so neither of them need the Dora. We're in a perfectly good position to push against both their hands. Ideally, we draw the 4-7, I think is most likely. No. Reach on the 5 for the 8, but too late. It is what it is. Uh, Pona 9's to start, which leaves the 8 kind of hanging, although we can make the 9's our pair as well if we draw a 7. 5-7-9 uh, is a really good shape. That's the double inside weight. Seven, perfect. Exactly what we asked for. Let's throw the east because it can be double east. All right. Now that that's out of the way, all these are just a single value. That's unfortunate, but it would have only been one if we had gotten it. A value of one, I should say. Um, I'm gonna throw the white first. We're going to ditch all of these, but I'll let someone else take the hit for uh, giving someone a pwn. The 8 fills on the 7-9, which is great to see. Means we can use the 5 for something else now.
We just need to always remember that we have our pair right here. The six is better than the two. It's just more inside than the two is. If the two picks up the one, then we end up on that terminal weight shape, which is the least efficient. The six picks up the seven, we drop the two right away. The one is Dora. We should have considered that, but I don't think it's likely we're gonna get it in this hand. This hand looks like we're going for a fast Ricci. We're just keeping really efficient shapes. We've already got one, two, three, four blocks completed. We're looking for our fifth and then we're good to go. The seven is interesting. So I'll drop the two of characters because there's uh, two ones Three, two twos, I gave the third one. It wasn't very likely we we're gonna get anything connecting to it. The green is unfortunate. Only one eight so far. We're looking for a five eight on the dots. Now see, that's like the worst thing that can happen because this... I've got to get rid of this seven. If I make this a three of a kind, then it turns into a six nine weight. And I've got three of the nines. It's basically a one-sided weight. It's a terminal weight all over again. Because the odds of drawing the last nine are so low. And I can't open this hand, so I'm going to pass that. We got the six. If this is my pair, then this doesn't do anything for us. So here's my pair. This is a sequence. This is a sequence. This is a sequence. This is a sequence. We drop the four. We're one tile away. Looking for four, seven characters, five, eight in the dots. And it's possible we end up on a double-sided weight over here, but I don't think it's likely because of these two sequence shapes. The 8 might be more useful than the 4 here. We might get Roan because it's so late and there's a Tanyao across the way. But they just used the 4. Yeah, so that's going to give us the 5-8. We'll take it. Eight gets pwned, that's fine. Turn on our auto win. We're not gonna make that mistake again. The six is dangerous, but it's safe. It was safe to me, guaranteed. There's the eight, perfect. Tanya, Dora, nothing. It wasn't even Tanya, what am I saying? Richie. Richie Pinfu. Pinfu being the only sequences. Richie, I bet my stick. Uh, we have one south, one east, double north. Nothing really exciting. We're actually going to drop the one right away to make this 3-4 happen. 5-6, a 7-8. We got really good blocks. Everything's connected nice and neat. Call the North our pair. We're going to get another Richie hand, and we'll probably nail Pinfu as well, because North is not our seat wind or the round wind. So this pair gives us no extra foo. And actually, our shapes have filled in perfectly. I'm going to drop the five right now, then we're going to drop the one, the two, and we're ready to go. Looking for six, nine, three, six, two, five, and we're good to go. White Dragon across the way. The Dora Wests are out of the game already. I can't open unless I wanted to find another pair in the inside tiles. And I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Not to mention I lose Ricci. Now there's a consideration to be made for opening just to break the Ipatsu. Uh, the winning with a Sumo or a Roan on your first go around from the Ricci tile. But it's not something we have to worry about anymore. 
We can drop our pair now. And maybe to beat the Richie. Otherwise we let the uh, the white dragons deal with this. Two of dots is safe, which is good. And we've um, kind of moved ourselves back into that all simples territory. The nine came out before the Ricci, but they dropped the six for the Ricci tile. If the five goes, I can push on my eight. And we'll line up on a 4-7 weight down here. The 1 did not go through. I'll push the 8. I don't think the 1 is dangerous, but it could be. It definitely doesn't look like Dots is the suit they need. 1s went through. 5, 6, 8 went through. 9s are cleared. It'd be 4-7 and those are clear as well. So this 4 is pretty safe. Eights for the whites. Five eight weight. Not very efficient actually. It is technically double sided. They should have dropped their two instead. I mean they won, right? So who, who am I to complain? But the number of tiles they accepted was lower than it possibly could have been. I think I'm gonna go for a toy toy. It's weird to rush for Toy Toy this early, but I've got some good shapes. Hmm. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open on the greens. The threes are now my pair. And then I've got good sequences here. That's what I wanted to do. Stealing the nines was the right call. Toy Toy is not the right call. Toy Toy being uh, all three of a kind, all pawns. I've got value here, Dora here, so this is a hand you want to just rush to the finish line. I'll even chi on the insides here. 2, 5, or 4, 7. There's the 5. Drop the 4, drop the 7. Looking for 4, 7 now in the bamboo. And then of course we have to pull in the green. We don't want the two, we would need this to be our pair. Seven passes. Not that there's any reason to think people are ready, but this guy's discarding some inside tiles, which is suspicious. Usually people have a lot more honors and dis terminals to discard. Two fives in a row is very weird. Unless they're going for like an outside hand, like a Chanta or something. But they took six, seven, eight, right? So it's gotta be insides. Or Yakuhai. That's the one we wanted, we're gonna cheat at. We're gonna cheat on the non-Dora version. And now we win when Green Dragon gets discarded. Ooh.
Now what? I guess we have to push for a pair weight? This is real messy now. Uh-oh. So because I drew the three, our hand had no value. Uh, sumo is only a yaku if your hand is completely closed, which ours was not. All right, we made our way back. Um, but we we really needed the green for our value. That's the only way we can win this hand. All the ones are gone, so we're now safe with this pair. If a green dragon were to come out right now, I'd absolutely lose it. I would not be surprised if green dragons are across the way. It's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? We're just going to block each other until the end of the game. Our hand is worth so much though, we're gonna keep pushing though. We might get roaned, but it is what it is. We have green dragon, uh, three Dora, so this is like a mangan at minimum. And you just simo sometimes. Oh, the game made us work for that one. That was very scary. Oh, it explains why we never saw that tile, though. Goodness. We had three tiles left in the wall. Not even a full rotation after that discard. What a play. No reason to keep a lonely green. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's another thing. The characters are very stylized on these uh, cat faces. Going back to the point I made at the start of the video. It's almost hard to read the five, I think. But what else could it be, right? So, I don't know. I don't want to drop my Dora, but I think I'm gonna have to. The rest of my shapes are just... fine. This too is lonely. I can get rid of that safely. There's a chance I draw the two still, right? If I draw the 7, I'm not going to keep the 1. I'm just going to take the double-sided with a Richie. If I were to draw the 2 dot myself, then I could discard the 4, waiting for the 7. Yeah, not only be kind of sneaky, but it'd also be accepting Dora and increasing the value of my hand. Three, three. Does not help. I don't want the two sided anyway, so I'm gonna get rid of the three now. I'm still holding out hope that I can draw a two, but I don't think it's very likely. All right, that's something interesting enough. I'll drop my one four. No, I should have dropped my nine eight for it. Anyways, there's a possibility of getting the Itsu, which is the full straight.
I'm gonna drop the seven because if I want to build another sequence, I want to build it in the characters. All I need is the one of characters and the eight. And we've got the full straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I can steal the one off the table, this is an inside weight. There's no way to screw that up with a double-sided Furaten situation. There's the five. Do we hold out hope or do we take the seven? I don't think I want the seven. I'm gonna drop the nine eight. I'm gonna hold out for the Itsu, the full straight. Nobody's dropped an eight yet. There's one one on the table. I think it can happen. And if I can get the one first, I can drop the eight and be open. Five, six, seven, eights are still alive. There you go, let's go! So full straight close is worth two. The reaching brings it to three. Ipatsu makes it four. Dora makes it five. That's a dealer mangan to start. Eradora 1 makes it Hanuman. Perfect. Let's freaking go. Ooh, that feels good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I discarded the 4 there because... There's a lot going on in the in the bamboo over here. And there's also a possibility we go for seven pairs. I don't like that possibility, but it could happen on accident. And if it happens, it happens. All right, so two, three, four. <sighs> Drop the two. Up the seven, up the two. I think also dropping the two of characters would not have been unheard of. In fact, I think I like it better than what I did. I'm basically, with dropping the two there, I'm telling this shape that I want to draw a three or a six of bamboo, which is going to force me to drop my seven or my nine. It's just real messy. It was not a good choice. Alright. We'll drop the double inside weight for a double outside weight. And it fills in immediately. That makes me feel pretty good. Our hand is very slow compared to the rest of the table. I would not be surprised if both of these players are ready to go. Tenpai. One tile away. I'm gonna drop these nines because they're safer than every other tile in my hand. Aside from the twos, the twos are safe. We're already in first. I think it's okay to pump the brakes a bit. Let someone else win the hand, move the dealer seat around the table. 
even if we get hit with a sumo, we're not going to be in too much danger. And open hands don't have that much value either, so... I'm not too worried about what they're going to do to me if I do get roamed. The four gets cheed. And inside wait, they had a 357. They stole the four. They're absolutely ready to go there. Are they waiting on the two? Now we're out of safe tiles, though. I, I don't want to get hit by the Richie on the Apatsu. Again, I'm not worried about these two hands. This one is a little bit scary now. Sumo? No biggie. Absolutely no value. And that is not how you want to play when you're in last. It can be frustrating to let the dealer just keep going, but... You can't be... You can't be nickel and diming if you don't have enough for lunch. Uh, seven, nine, six, seven, six, four. Pair of the nine, six, seven, four is loose. Pair of the sixes, drop the two. Four, five with a two and a seven. Lots of really weird shapes going on. The seven's actually the most powerful draw we got. Because that turns this from a pair into a double-sided. We only have one, two, three, four blocks. We need a fifth. This two is our weakest floater. Because the three gives us a block. The six gives us a block. The two does nothing. And the four could give us a block. I'm still, still going to discard the two and the one. That's our weakest shape. And we need a shape. I don't need a pair, I've got the nines. Rip ones. Souths are going to be safe later. Seven is another pair, which we really don't need. But we also need a block, so we're going to keep it over the south. I think this four is now our weakest tile. Four of dots. I'm not feeling it. It doesn't do anything for us. We need to focus on what's in our hand. Threes get pwned. Makes me feel really good about dropping that four. Oh boy, useless draws. Everything we've picked up has just kind of moved us sideways. There's a five over there. There's the eight, but we can't use it with our nines. The three is really the worst tile I wanted. Because it leaves us with this 577 seven shape. It's not the end of the world, but it's just so weird. The eights get pwned. So this block is looking kind of rough. Double twos. I don't need more pairs. I'm 
I'm gonna drop the 7-6 because half of it's gone. All simples, Dora. Who cares? Third place has incentive to fight harder than that, but they're also dealer, so they're just going for quick hands, trying to rack up the bonus points. I use the same strategy, so no complaints for me. Um, I can't open on that. Uh, beautiful shape in the dots. Pair, block, 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 pair. The south is valuable to us because it is south around. So I'm going to pwn this, drop these. We can cheat a two, the two, the five, or the eight, and then drop our last nine. We're one tile away from... Tempai. That south draw was huge. Because we're so far in first, all we want to do is keep the dealer seat moving and end the game before anyone gets a chance to win our points back. Again, we can still steal 258, dropping the 6. Oh, we filled the two? Say it ain't so. That's dirty. Tempai on the sixth discard with a three-sided weight? Yuck. Zero Dora, but if we draw it, we can discard our one. Let's con! Nothing. <laughs> uh, might have been a bad idea, but we roamed immediately, so who, who cares? We're gonna get a bunch of extra food from that. We actually got one in 40 now. And we took our, um, our own back. We fed them earlier, and then we got our points back. Very lucky. Inside Dora on the five of bamboo is very scary because we only have one, and it's very easy to use. Everybody at this table is going to be looking for that tile. Drop my eight. Uh, we will open on the south once again. There's no reason not to. And we're one tile away once again. We have to discard our door to get there, but... Do I want to do it now? I might still be able to upgrade. And then it looks like the 7-9 is going to be the weaker of these two blocks. Or maybe it's more likely that 8 will come out, so I should drop these guys instead. Let's work it that way. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't discard that Dora. Chi the 4-7, Chi the 8 of dots. Drop the 4, you're ready to go. South door 1, that's all we need. Just keep the seat moving. Don't give him a chance to breathe. That's it! We're ready to go, give me that 8. You dropped a 9, you dropped a 7, nobody can use that 8, come on. Two 9s are out there, I like it. Yes! Keep that pressure up. Seven pairs, but I really hate that hand. I'm gonna drop the lonely eight. It doesn't... There's something that might happen with 
Maybe a half flush, a Honitsu. Pwn the Norse, pwn the fours, pwn the threes, or chi two five twice. We really need more of one of the suits, but the eight was so lonely. See, that's still better than the eight was. It gives us an inside weight, which is not the most efficient, but it's better than a single tile. Do I care about the five more than the west? I say yes. And now even though I started talking about the half flush, I'm looking at the one, the seven for discarding. I can't open on that. We got the six, which is great. So I'm gonna drop my one. I can't steal the Norths. Maybe this has to be seven pairs with the way I'm working it. Either that or I drop six and nine back to back. Okay. I'm gonna go for open toy toy, which is all pones. We drew the three ourselves. We had a pair of the Norths, which were a good pair. We're gonna struggle to put together the rest of our hand. Just because it's not often people discard these inside tiles. We're not very likely to get the, uh, the pones we need er easily. Just throw it back. Hmm. It really doesn't look like they want the dots, but their inside tiles are always sus. Let's try the four. And I'm going to push the sixes against her as well. It really doesn't look like she wants dots. Nine, two, seven. Just like one after the other. I'm not doing that. So that's a safe tile. I would mess around earlier, but like, not when someone's reachy. That's silly. Uh, Green Dragon just came out. Sumo. It was bamboo. Inside weight. Nice and sneaky. And there you see fully concealed hand. That's the uh, fully closed sumo draw. That's what that extra value is. Another south wind. I'm gonna use it. And hopefully just knock this one out of the park. A single red door is kind of scary because it means someone else might have two. But I like to get rid of it early, just in case people don't get any funny ideas trying to build that up. And then our green is twice cut, so this is going to be a safe tile all the way to the end of the game. So pwn here, pair here, we accept the four, the eight. The six, we're gonna drop our one, two, and our three, and we're good to go. Dropping the three first, of course, it's lonely. This still can technically, hmm. All right, we're dropping the one, two. This is now a double-sided. Way more efficient than a one, two is.
And are we six blocked? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got six blocks. So we're even gonna have to cut one more of our shapes. I like the chance of the six coming out. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not sure about the fours. There's a lot of twos out there, which means people were pushing aggressively in on their characters. I don't think we're gonna see the four characters come out. But we're also not seeing too many dots come out, so people are hoarding their... Well, there's our dot. All right, uh, drop the two. And we were gonna throw the three five. I think another excuse is the five seven are safer to discard, right? Fives have come out twice. There's bamboo all over the board. This is safer to discard. Even the five of dots is relatively safe. Nine is guaranteed safe. They just discarded it. And I don't mind getting hit by this guy. I'm not too worried about losing first place. Another nine. Getting double roaned is starting to get into dangerous territory, though. And you know what? The Souths are probably pretty safe as well. I think I'll only get hit by one of them on this guy. Three of characters. Three, six, wait. Perfect. Just a Richie. Just three, Han. That's a huge win for us. Plus 128. Very, very happy with that result. 803 points. Alright, let's go check out our event real quick. And then we'll wrap this episode up. Avoid dealing into others. Win a game with Richie. Win with Adora. Get 10,000 points. All we gotta do is play one more match. We're gonna spam out our training. Fascinating. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like and subscribe button. It really helps small channels like this one grow and reach a wider audience. And I hope you have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening. Goodbye.